Yes, guys, welcome back to the Spurs Talk Show. I am, of course, Sean Butler. I'm joined today by some uh, Ameri North American, American? Yeah, American. Oh, South, Af South African. South African and North American. Where, where are you guys from? Florida. I'm oh, sorry, I'm talking to the microphone. Florida. Florida. Orlando, Florida, yeah. Nice, very nice. Justin and Kimberly, they've just come over for the, for the, for the game specifically? Uh, honeymoon and the game. Honeymoon. Congratulations, massive congratulations. And what a way for them to round off the honeymoon with three points for their, for their favourite team, Tottenham Hotspur. Guys, Justin, I'm going to start with you. What did you think about the game today overall? Um, we had great seats, so atmosphere was outstanding. This is like 13 years in the making, coming to Tottenham Live, so it was unbelievable. Were you expecting much from the game? Were you expecting three points? Was it more difficult than you thought it was going to be against Sheffield United, a team that we're probably expecting that are going to struggle to get or to stay in the Premier League this, this season? Yeah, I thought, that, I thought they'd sit behind the ball. I thought we'd break them down a little better, but I mean, couldn't have asked for a better game to come to for your first one. Yeah, I mean, what a finish. Kimberly, I mean, 70 minutes gone, 75 minutes gone. We're struggling against Sheffield United. They've, they've suffocated the game. They've taken advantage of some time wasting. The referee hasn't really like, punished them or penalised them for it. But we somehow managed to get our way back into it. Were you expecting the finish that, that, that materialised? No, I was already mentally preparing about what I was going to have to deal with if they lost. <laughs> what would that have looked like? Um, he might have cried. <laughs> So, really? Are you a passionate fan, yeah? Yeah, 8,000 miles to come watch and lose to a team we should beat would have been a bit sad, yeah. yeah, well, yeah. So, you guys, so you guys have flown, where, where was your honeymoon? Yeah, so, yeah, the UK, yes. So we flew. You honeymooned in the UK? Yeah. You've never been? I've never been. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We got married in South Africa, so our uh, wedding was the destination. So, are you on your way home? You on your way back to South No, that was last year, so it's a year now. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's an anniversary. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, in terms of the game itself, who were your standout players? Who were the players that you were you know, looking at today and maybe thinking, I was expecting a little bit more from. But, you know, talk to, about some individuals that you thought were, were, were thought, step out. I thought Madison was going to play a lot better. I didn't think he played well. <laughs> yeah. I actually agree with you 100% on that one. Yeah, Manus Solomon looks good. As long as he can get ball end product, I think we'll be good. Yep. Not a little bit of a Lucas Moura in him. Better passing at the end. I think we've got a player. Uh, Brennan Johnson comes onto the, the pitch within, excuse me, within, within, uh, within two minutes. He scores a goal, it's offside. We couldn't see it, or well, I couldn't see it from, from my position, well, how offside it was, but he's the second fastest player in the Premier League. Doesn't probably need to sit quite as close to the shoulder or on the line. But he's, for the first 20 minutes of his career at Tottenham, were you excited about the future? Yeah, rapid. He's rapid. I think he's going to be good for us. He gives us something different to Kulu, so I think it's just when you switched him, brought him inside, it just gives the wing back something more to deal with, with a little bit of pace. So I, I think it's a great signing, and he's young. Yeah, he's one if for the future. Ange, if Ange wants him, get him in. 100%. Kimberly uh, Richarlison, Brazil's number nine. Big no? questions. Uh, uh, Brazil's number nine. Uh, obviously, had a, a, he's had a tough time at Tottenham of late. Uh, he's been you know, Brazil's number nine for a long time. He got substituted off during the international break. He was crying. He's come out and said that he's struggling with his mental health. He's going to seek a psychologist. He comes on today. Most people that I've spoken to weren't expecting to see him for a while. He's come on in the last 10 minutes and scored a goal and got the assist for the winner. Yeah. I mean, is it the perfect kind of end to a struggling, difficult last sort of two weeks for Richarlison? And what are your thoughts about his kind of like relatively near future? I think we, we back him. He's, uh, he's going through a tough time. You see he's trying. So the goal and assist today, I think it's, it's only going to be up from here. Okay. We, all we can do, we, pay, we spend 70 million on him. So we might as well back him. You have to give him a go. Yeah. Kimberly Arsenal next. Oh yeah. The big one. Yeah. Away at Arsenal. We don't do often well there. Are you concerned or are you thinking that this is the kind of perfect outcome that can sort of give us some momentum going into the game? Mm, I think it's definitely going to be tough because we th I thought we were going to play a lot better today and if they can get their act together I think this will lead them into a good win. Hopefully. Do you predict a win? A shock win at Arsenal? Uh, no, maybe like I'm hoping for like even score. A draw. Let, yeah, draw. Okay, nice one. That's fair enough. I'll take that. Justin, would you take that? Yeah, I'll take that. We're going to be on the plane, so when we land, we're going to get the results. Okay. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'll take a draw. Yeah. So we're, 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 we're gone. They, they don't look so hot, so hopefully. I have to. I have to finish off by asking you why exactly you've chosen London. I obviously said you haven't been here before, but now the game is done. Yeah. What else are you going to see in London for your honeymoon? It's just to me, it's a weird. From living here my whole life. <laughs> The thought of spending your honeymoon in London is crazy to me. What are you guys going to be doing for the next six or seven days? Uh, we, I mean, we... we he's, never, he's never done any of the tourist stuff. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so we're doing all the touristy stuff. And we're going to go to Oxford but and we're going to go to Bath for a day. We're, we're all Bath. 
Both our grandparents are from the UK, so and it's I have, good to come I have cousins here. Yeah. So. Okay, wonderful. so it's more of a honeymoon slash family get together holiday. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wonderful. Justin Kimberley, you've been absolutely fantastic. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you. Do one more, one more thing for the camera. Come on, you Spurs. Come on, Come you, on Spurs. you Spurs. There you go. Perfect. Thank Thanks you. so much, guys. Appreciate Thank you. Well done. Oh, no, high five. High five, Kimberley. Nice one. See you guys. Thank you.